The date formula is a very simplistic formula. Basically it consists of three fields, the year, the month and the day. When you combine all three of this you'll get a proper date. Now if you look at a normal date format, it's normally the year forward slash the month forward slash the day. And then it will Excel automatically recognize this as a date and put it in the correct format. But in some cases you might need to input all these three fields as formulas. So how would the date formula look work? Let's just open up the formula function bar and there you'll see the three fields. So in the year field you will put the year. In the month field you'll put the month. And in the day field you'll put the day. And when I click OK it will do exactly the same. So why would you want to do this? Some systems when you download give you information like this. So now we've got a problem because now this is not a proper date so this might be a few thousand line um, data sheet. Now how do you convert all of these to, to dates? So the best way to do it is let's do it to a formula. There's two ways of actually doing this. Let, let me show you both ways. Let's just copy this there. So if you know that everything is the same format, you go to, um, I think it's data, text to columns, and I'm going to say fixed width, and I'm literally just going to input the way the separator is. And I say finish, and now it's then three columns. So now I can say that's my year, that's my month, and that's my day. So now I've done exactly the same as my previous example. The other way of doing it, let's just say 203, as, oh no, sorry, is by using our text formulas. Now if you go to your text formula videos, you'll see how this works. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. So if I open the formula function bar, so how do we get the year? Now that's on the left hand side of this text, so I'm just going to say left, start at the beginning, give me four characters. And there you'll see the result is 2013. My month will be a mid formula. Oh, I shouldn't begin with uh, equals. S same text, start at the fifth place and just give me two characters and you'll see it returns six. And the last one, the day is from the right hand side, also two characters and it'll give me 30. So it will give me the exact same result. So that is where a date formula becomes very powerful. When you start to use a date formula to with other formulas to populate dates and that, that's when you really get the power of using date formulas.